Hello, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you here. Um, all of you are invited to come into the comments, say hello, let me know where you're signing in from, tuning in from. I will jump into the comments later this evening and give you a proper hello. Um, yeah, it's a general reading, so keep that in mind. It's not a private reading, so if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Um, always best to take what speaks to you, leave the rest behind. I am pulling from Whispers of Love Oracle just to activate the reading. Say hello, hello to Leo, our channel mascot. Leo is a Gemini. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, it's kind of weird. Do you want to pick the card, Leo? Shall you pick the card for our lovely Scorpios? Do you have a thought? Okay, that's the one right there. Card 40. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Wise kitten. Wise kitten. Yes, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. He picks me the best cards too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is pull the main spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. It's a modified Celtic cross. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hmm, yeah. Right, be present and dream of the future. We've got some inklings here about the future, about divine time, fate, destiny, karma. What's crossing that here? Queen of Cups. Um, yeah, it's about what's weighing on your heart your open-heartedness or the lack thereof challenges with that perhaps in your unconscious awareness the two of pentacles yeah i don't know right being on the fence about something um it can be stalling energy stalling for time in the past here nine of pentacles uh she is the single person of the tarot and also speaks to our sense of self-worth and value in your conscious awareness, page of wands, um, excitement, but also positive messages. Um, yeah, that which kind of lights us up, turns us on, going of sorts though in the near future. Yeah, but I'm, I wanna get down to brass tacks. So there's something with this queen of swords. Did I say queen of wands? I meant queen of swords, which is about cutting to the chase. Yeah, no more small talk. Uh, yeah, uh, let's no frills, um, no fluff, m more stuff. Um, Queen of Swords, she comes in peace. I like her hand extended there. She's all about, you know, the details. So very pragmatic, very practical minded. Um, let's just have a dialogue where we get down to brass tacks. So I think there's something that internally you may be trying to reckon with, reconcile, you're on the fence, you're torn, whatever. Maybe you're stalling for some time until you get your questions answered. Truth seeker, truth teller, I like that. Um, and so maybe, you know, we're not open sign is on, on your heart at the moment, unless or until you get those questions answered. So. That's, that's where we're going to begin. Queen of Cups again. Hanged man. Temporary standstill with the hanged man. So it's not a permanent thing. It's sort of like you're pressing pause here underneath that eight of wands is, is communication. But it's a type of communication. So it, there may be some aspects of the communication that aren't uh, working for you right now. They may just be too superficial 
And so there's something uh, that's needed that is deeper, that you know, you're needing something that's going to um, really speak to your heart more deeply. Um, and so with the hanged man there, you're not, it's not, it's not, it's not resonating okay and with that wheel of fortune it's a timing card it's talking about well you know maybe this just isn't the time um for this connection i'm, I'm not getting what i need out of it things are just a little too superficial or light-hearted um and so i need some communication to get to the bottom of it before i make any decisions um, i need to know what it is i'm really dealing with here Two of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Hierophant, Devil. So, um, and the Devil is coming from the bottom of the deck, so it's not, it's not bothering you in a super conscious way, but there are some maybe fears uh, that this, there's some karmic energies swirling about that may be, uh, giving you some agita yes that's still a word we old folks use but if you look at the um hierophant the hierophant talks about conventional committed relationships seemingly pretty normal something that might lead to a connection that could go the distance and the six of wands here it's like what you're on what you're kind of on the fence about or you're not really sure you're dealing with is you know, are we, is there somewhere where we could meet in the middle where, you know, where we have some common ground about where we're going here? Um, what this connection has in store for us, Wheel of Fortune, and how much I should invest my heart in it. That's what I'm seeing here. So until we have that conversation, which is coming from the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who are new, that's when I pull from, when I pull that card, which I have done here so far, it's sort of either what's happening in unconscious awareness for you, so it's what you're processing internally, or it's something playing out behind the scenes. So for either way, it's not something you can see or are accessing readily in your conscious world. So it just feels to me like you might have some unsettled energy around it, some fears um, that are normal. Um, and you may have some unsettled energy uh, as to whether you're just setting yourself up so, for some negative karma in this situation. Nine of Pentacles in the past. High Priestess, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles. And I feel like you've had this sense all along. This, the, the sense is it's your intuition. Something not being said. Um, King of Swords, uh, notorious for not saying a whole lot or saying very little, not kind of giving us any major clues. Um, and maybe on some level, you, you've been a little reserved, a little shut down, a little guarded, um, because all along you've been sensing something, intuiting something that required you to kind of be on your guard. That's why we're getting the Queen of Cups twice with that hanged man pressing pause till, oh, I, I got some questions. And maybe they're not even going to be direct. Maybe this is like just a fact-finding mission, right? You're just kind of trying to scope out what you're really dealing with um, because something's very unsettling here. Page of Wands in your conscious awareness doesn't mean there's anything wrong. It just means, you know, how sometimes you just get this feeling like something's off. Um, and, and we just need a little bit more info, a little bit more um, to work with. Right. Ace of Swords on the Page of Wands. I need more info <laughs> because I'm unsettled. I can't sleep. I, I, I can't think of much anything else but this. Page of Pentacles underneath again. So I'm just going to let things unfold very slowly. Uh, so this could, this person could be 
coming toward you slowly with their they could be coming toward you with an offer very slowly that could be happening behind the scenes because that could just be how they operate um and when i say operate i don't mean to suggest that they're an operator it could just be the way they move through relationships slowly methodically deliberately and that may not be what you're used to and it may just be giving you that sense of uh something's not right here but with that ace of swords it's like a, oh this is not working something isn't uh, mm -mm. i feel like this is too superficial i'm, I'm not something's become you're becoming aware of something that is unsettling to you and so i'm seeing this knight of pentacles as a need within you to kind of pull back on the reins slow things down whoa 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 press pause i gotta get some information because i'm not feeling really good about something here and i think it's been happening so this isn't brand new it's but it's now becoming more clear, Ace of Swords. Queen of Swords in the near future. Chariot. The Fool. Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> I can almost hear the conversation. It goes a little something like, so <laughs> before we move forward, you know, I'm just not ready to kind of, you know, <laughs> take that leap off the cliff. Uh, need, need a little bit more, you know, <laughs> need to explore a little bit more. And I really am the kind that likes things to unfold more organically. So <laughs> it just feels like that kind of a conversation. Before we go any further, um, I'm not the kind that, you know, it just seems like the, the opening dialogue would be a little bit more like that. Not really like holding the flashlight and interrogating, but coming in peace, um, really not with a hidden agenda, so to speak, but more of an explanation of why you're kind of pressing pause. It's not that I don't want this connection. It's that I prefer things to unfold a little bit more organically and I'm not just going to act on impulse and take um, a poorly calculated risk. So I want to know a few things. There are some things that seem unclear to me or you know, whatever it is that works for you in your situation, again, general reading. So I am seeing, though, this deep, unsettled energy, um, something that has you, uh, whether you're a little spooked by it or it's raising the hair on the back of your neck, which, you know, we often get, but it's got you in this moment of, I don't know, something's not passing the smell test and it's feeling all too superficial for where we should be timing right the wheel of fortune so that's what i'm seeing so far at this point of this point of the celtic cross which i'll complete in the extended if it's speaking to you i'm going to continue it in the extended but I want to look at the connection, what is working for you, which would be helpful to know, and what's work, what's not working for you. Um, what are the opportunities that could mitigate what isn't working for you? What does this person want, to, want you to know? What, what would they like to say? What vibe are they picking up from you at 5D? The final parts of this Celtic cross. Hit, you know, message from spirit, hidden energies, what might unfold going forward and so on. So that's what we're going to do in the extended. The links to that are below. And I said plural links because there are a couple different ways you can access my extended versions of these readings. And so please, when you click a link, make sure you read because one of them is like a monthly renewal. One of them is just a one-time extended and the other is access to everything I do. 
Okay, so I want to be sure you know options one, two, and three are available for you. Before I give you the astrology, I also ask that if you haven't already and you've been enjoying my readings, please subscribe below. <laughs> Help me stay on this platform and grow my channel. And to those of you who have been so generous in helping me by going into the playlists and <laughs> liking and commenting, even with your emoji bombs. I love you all so much. Thank you for that. You know who you are and I know who you are, which is even more important to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we're going. You make me smile. Here we go. Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Queen of Cups came out twice, even though she crossed you. She comes out again, right? Just to say, yes, I'm here. That is Cancerian energy. Very nurturing, very caring. Fourth house themes of home and hearth, right? We have the Hanged Man is um, Neptune, which rules Pisces. Um, Hierophant is Taurus. Devil is associated with the sign of Capricorn, right? That's where we get the danger. Will Robinson, I'm scared. Something's not right here. Um, Nine of Pentacles has some Virgo energy. We're in Virgo season now. The High Priestess is the Moon. King of Swords is um, Aquarius. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Knight of Pentacles, more Virgo. Queen of Swords is Libra. The Chariot is Cancerian energy. The Fool is the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius. And that's what I have for you right now. Our ma channel mascot, Leo, pulled Be in the Present and Dream of the Future when we dream everything is possible. So you have some lovely oracle there. And I'm heading to the extended now. I will see you there in a second. Bye for now.